and welcome. So we're looking at terminals, bash, PowerShell, command prompt. We're gonna learn how to use them all today. This is for someone who has no knowledge of how to navigate through the terminal. Here's what we're gonna learn. Where we are in the directory, uh, where we are in the computer, how to change directories, how to clear the screen to make it visually appealing, changing the directory to the desired directory that we want, opening a file, creating a file, creating a file of text in it, creating a folder, moving a file, copying a file, deleting a file, changing a directory and trying to find a file in a different directory. And at least watching this video, you're gonna find out how to navigate through a terminal, whether you're Windows or on Mac, and you're gonna be able to at least do some basics in terms of creating files and folders and trying to find those files and folders that you need to get to. Anyway, enough of me talking, let's dive in. Okay, first up, we're using PowerShell. So the first thing we're gonna do is PWD. Now that stands for Print Working Directory. So that is wherever you are on your computer, we're just gonna print back where we are in the terminal. So for some people that might be fairly obvious as you can just look up to find where you actually are in the terminal, but sometimes it's helpful and you'll find when you're on a Mac, it may be more helpful, but we'll get to that. So we'll type PWD and there you are. So you have it on your Windows system. Now we're gonna change directory backwards and there's all the folders that are in the directory one folder behind or backwards. Uh, so there's a lot there and we're not gonna go through them because that will take forever. But we're now gonna clear the screen. So CLS and then press enter. We're gonna go backwards again. And here we go, LS to list all the folders that are in here and we wanna go to the users folder. So let's clear, you can write clear as well in PowerShell, so that's helpful. So now we're gonna to navigate to the users folder list out the folders, and we wanna to go to the robber folder. So we'll go to that one. You're on your computer, it will say something different. And as soon as we get to the new directory, we're gonna list out all the folders and files that are in that directory. And now we wanna to go to the desktop. So let's navigate there. We type CD space desktop. Simple, right? So now we're in the directory that we wanna be at. And in there, there's just a text file, that's it. So where are we? We're in the desktop. So again, it's pretty simple. It says it right where you are, but if you want to type PWD and that helps you, go for it, whatever makes it easier. That's the whole idea. So now we're gonna open the text file and it's simply dot backslash and then the text file. And I'll open it for you automatically in Notepad. So it's that simple. If we want to create a file, we type new dash item space and then in quotation marks, we'll just make up a name text2.txt, press enter. There you go, you've created your file. We'll now open that file and there we go, it's a blank file at this point in time. If you want to add some text to a new file, New item, same as before, text3.txt. And we're just gonna type dash value, and the value will be whatever the text you want. I would like to write in this file as I create it. That's what we're doing, boom. Hit enter, you've done it. There we go. So you can already tell it's not really that intimidating. It's not really that scary. And when I first started, Terminals always scared me. Every time I opened it up, I had no idea where I was, where I was in the computer, and just seeing that dot flash in front of your eyes, you know, mocking you almost, uh, it can be scary and intimidating, and it just doesn't need to be. It is fairly simple, and all it takes is, hopefully, a simple explanation of what this is used for. It's just another way to use your computer. All of us have been taught at some point in time that we use the mouse and we navigate through GUIs and click on certain folders and right click things, but it's not the only way. So anyway, now we'll clear the screen. Now we're gonna create a folder, mkdir, and then the name of the folder. Now you'll notice if you put a space, it won't let you do that. 
So you can either put it in quotation marks or just put a dash instead of a space. Fairly common. There we go. Now we have a folder and there it is. MKDIR. So let's navigate into that folder. CD and then the folder. Okay, now we're going to go back a fo folder. We'll go back into the desktop. Now we're going to move a file. Move dash item. Fairly simple. Path is going to be what you want to move. And the destination, dash destination, space. Big, we're going to move it to that folder. Hit enter. There it is. So text two is not there anymore because we moved it into the big folder. Let's check it. List, there it is. Great. So we know that's all working. So we're getting through our list pretty quickly here. This is great. So we're going to copy an item. Fairly simple. The path will be what uh, item you want to copy. So in this case, it's a text file. And then the destination will be what you want to change it to. And it can either be you're just changing the name, so you just put in a new name, or you change it to uh, the file directory. So it can be in a different directory if you want it to. To delete a an item, whether it's a folder or an, a file, remove item. Again, fairly simple. There we go, it's gone. So we're learning a lot straight off the bat. Okay, what's next? Let's change directory. We're back into our desktop here. Great. Now we'll copy an item. txt and you could write it out like this as well and list it out so that's even a more simple way of doing it okay now we're going to change directory two steps backwards so we are in the users folder now so now we're going to try and find a file that's in a different location with a rough idea of what we want to find. So it's not the exact name. It's going to be just a rough idea of what the name of this folder or folder type or, or file or file type. So get child item. We'll put in the path in which the file might be in. Okay. So we want to include, what kind of parameter do we want to include here? So we know it's got texty in the name and it's a txt file. So that's what we want to include in our search. Ah, okay. There's one thing I forgot here. In PowerShell, and this is exclusive to PowerShell, we have to type recurse. There we go. And now it's finding all the texty files. We've even looked in the big folder as well as the desktop. So that's a really quick way of trying to find a file with a rough idea of what the name is. And Recurse does it in many directories, not just one. So pretty powerful stuff. And this is only just the beginning. So there you go. It's all in the different directories there. But um, yeah, really useful. I use this all the time. And... Um, and there we go. We know how to navigate around the terminal. Hopefully this helps you. And uh, Mac time. Let's do it. Let's get into Mac land. PWD, print working directory, same as on a Mac. So that's simple. We don't have to learn a new thing for that. Change directory. We can go backwards here. And look at that. We've gone backwards in the directory. So this is a bit more... So far, so good. The same. Okay, CLS doesn't work, but clear does. And clear the terminal. That way it's just easier to look at. And you can start fresh. So to change directory to the desktop, we're going to type CD space desktop. Pretty simple. List is the same as PowerShell. So you're not relearning all these new commands. A lot of them will work. Let's open a file. So open space text. Oh, text.txt. There we go. And it'll open the file for us. That's pretty easy to remember. 
what it, open space, whatever your folder is called. And then we can write whatever we like. Okay. Next here. Okay, we're going to create a file, touch, space, and then the file name. Here we go. Did that work? Yeah, it did. Easy. So we're going to touch the file to create one. That's a little different, but pretty easy to remember. Okay, how do we how do we create a file with text already in it? Let's have a look as to how we do this. Echo. Hello there. And then you push it to the new file that you want to call it. So we're going to call it open.txt. Here we go. There it is, open.txt. Let's see if hello there is in the file. So open space open.txt and there it is, hello there. Great. So we know how to do that. Fantastic. All right, let's keep moving. This is great. We're getting through a lot here. So clear the terminal. We'll type clear. Okay, to make a folder, mkdir, the same as PowerShell. We'll list it out. There it is, fun times. To move a file or folder, we're going to type mv space hello there and move it to fun times folder. Okay, did that work? Let's check fun times. Okay, CD list. There it is. Great. So MV to move a folder. Pretty simple. CP. So we're going to copy the file and give it a new name. So hello there. And then space. We're going to just put a, a dash in the middle instead of a space. And there we go. We'll list it out. Pretty simple, right? Or copy, file name, and the new name. Remove to delete a folder, rm space, whatever the file is called. List it out, and it's gone. Super simple. Okay, clear. There's our working directory, if we weren't sure. So now we're going to cd back to music with code directory. Okay, now we're going to find a file. That's on our desktop, and the dash i name is not case sensitive. So if you're not sure whether it has a capital or not, put i name there. And there we have it. There's the rough name, texty, and that's everything. So, so far, we've learned PowerShell on Windows, and we've learned Bash. The last thing, we're going to go back to Windows. And you, I'm sure you would have seen command prompt. So we're going to learn how to navigate through command prompt as well. So let's open up command prompt as an administrator. And you would do this in PowerShell as well. And let's see if it's that different. Okay, we're going to type PWD. Okay, command prompt doesn't like PWD. What it does like is echo, percent sign, CD, percent sign. So that's a little difference. That's okay. So now we're going to change directory. It's the same. CD space dot dot. And then hit enter. Clear doesn't work in command prompt, but CLS works. Great. One or the two. So now we're going to change directory to the directory that we want. In this case, will be the desktop. List doesn't work, but dir does. So dir. That'll list out what's in the directory. Pretty simple. Okay, to create a file with some text in it is actually the same as you would do in Bash. So echo, this is some text, space, arrow, space, and then the text file, name of the text file. Okay, this is looking good. And there it is. You can tell it's got something in that file. So let's open the file. And there it is. Cool. Make a new folder is the same as every terminal so far. mkdir. Smaller folder. There it is. And you'll notice I'm checking everything, whether it's listing it out or typing dir, just to make sure that everything I'm teaching you is what actually works. 
So if we want to move a file, we type move. Can't be more simpler than that. That's great. So we've moved it. Awesome. OK. Let's navigate to the smaller folder. Great. OK, we're going to copy the text and give it a new name. So there we go, we've copied a text file. That's very simple, isn't it? Copy space file name and then a new name for the file. Very simple. So, so far, command prompt is pretty straightforward. If you want to delete a file, just type del. F is for the file, or you can put D for the folder. In this case, it's a file. So forward slash F, and we'll check. Now it's deleted. So del for delete. We can remember that. Okay, now we're going to change directory two steps down. The same in all the terminals. CD dot dot. Okay. Now we're just going to find all the text files in a certain directory. Now we're going to change directory down one, and we want to search in a different directory all the text files. So that's how we do that. DIR space whatever directory you want to search, and then either the name, rough name, or type of folder, and it will check it all for you. So that's really simple. And here, just to kind of prove the point, we're two steps down in directories, and we want to search the desktop directory, and we want to search all the files that are text files. And there we have it. We've searched that as well. So we've done the same operations for PowerShell, Command Prompt, and Bash. And now you should be able to feel a little more comfortable about the terminal and using it. Later on, you'll get to using Git and GitHub, and especially Git, it's only a uh, terminal-based program, which I'm sure if you get along in your programming journey that you will come across Git and GitHub. So being comfortable with the terminal will definitely help you. Not only is it pretty powerful and fairly simple, but being comfortable with that will definitely help you further down the line as well. So hopefully that helps. All right, I'll leave you to it. Take care.